Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, The Key Is Me, and I am back again with another video. In this video, I am going to be showing you some more clippings from Amazing Beauty Hair. I have in the Afro Kinky Curly Ombre Black to Dark Wine in the inches 18 and 20. So I do have two sets of clippings in my hair for a full look. As you can see, when you open the box, they give you some extra clips as well as lashes. They also give you a wide tooth comb, great for combing out the hair while it's wet. And they also give you a manual showing you how to care for the hair. So if you have any questions, most of the questions that you may have will be answered inside of that manual. This is what the hair looks like straight out of the bag. It is very thick. This hair is extremely thick, especially after a few days of wearing, it gets extremely big and it mimics natural hair very well. I went ahead and I co-washed the hair with some Antu conditioner as well as some deep conditioner by Ozzy Moise. I didn't leave it on there to soak. I just went ahead and just put the product on there, used my dimming brush to comb through the curls. You definitely want to make sure the hair is saturated with product as well as water before you comb through it. And ladies, you will get tangling. This hair mimics kinky curly hair. So you will get tangling and you will get shedding while you're washing it. But I promise it's normal. After washing the hair, I don't let it dry. I just go in with my Shea Moisture Curling Hands Smoothie as well as my Eco Styler Gel. I just put the clippings in on my hair. I only have a little bit of my hair left out. And I went ahead with the hair still wet, put the products in my hair. I worked the products in and then you'll see me take my dimming brush and I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up, brushing the curls out and then defining the curl. So I know I am suffering from heat damage, so I am just doing the best that I can, putting products as well as gel on my natural hair and just running my natural hair in the curls of the clippings together so that it can blend. Don't think too much into it, just do it. You see how it turned out in the end. Then I tied my hair and let it dry overnight and this is the next morning. I am loving the way that it looks. The only thing that I don't like is how it's supposed to be an ombre, but it's not much black. It's more so the dark wine than it is black. So I did have to go in and use some of my black spray. And I just went in with the black spray and just sprayed it to my liking. Just made it look a little bit more made the colors transition a little bit more from the black to the dark wine being that my hair is black and this is just me just fluffing the hair out because of course using the gel the curls are going to clump together and get stuck together so you just want to take it shake it get those curls out i'm honestly a day three day four type of girl I'm also going to insert some clips in what it looks like after a few days and it I'm telling you this hair gets so big and to me first day hair is not the hair that I usually go for even with my natural hair. I like it after a few days after the curls kind of loosen up a little bit and it starts to give you that afro look. That's just the look that I love. This hair is definitely get up and go hair. I honestly I've had it in for a week. I haven't really had to do anything to it, but spray some leave-in conditioner in it and some water, shake my hair in the morning, and literally go. Sometimes I'll go in and add a little bit of gel to my edges, but other than that, this hair is, I love it. Even what you put in the black spray on there, the black spray, it doesn't really spread as much. It doesn't leave, what is the word I'm looking for? 
it doesn't transfer as much so i just just make sure if you're just laying around the house you just put a bonnet on so that you know you don't get black spray on anything but other than that once it dry it doesn't transfer as much as it do like you see in the clips all over my hands I'm going to put all of the information down in the description box. If you have any questions, please leave some comments. Thank you so much for tuning into this video, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.